Growing up, I've always been quite a small kid. You know, when I was 18, I weighed 65 kilos, which I think that's like 140 pounds, 150 pounds, which at six foot tall is not a lot. And I just remember when I got my first rugby contract, the coach said, you've got to get in the weight room, son, otherwise you're going to get killed. <laughs> For those of you guys that follow me on social media, you're probably aware that I am actually made of glass. So playing rugby is probably not the best thing. And even trying to push my body to an absolute max is not the best thing for me. I had a very serious shoulder injury sort of when I was early 20s. And that kind of knocked my rugby on the head. They said, you know, you've either got to, got to go and have full reconstruction on your shoulders or, you know, got to give the sport up. And at that time in my life, I thought, you know what? I found something that I enjoy as much as rugby, and that was the weights room. And so I started just getting into training for training's sake. And then it kind of coincided with the time when physique shows and fitness modeling was kind of just starting out. And so with my training partner, I decided, hey, let's enter a show and let's see what happens. And then kind of the rest is history. I think anybody that, when they get a little bit older and their sort of training age and the time they spent in the gym kind of gets on a bit, you learn to evolve and modify your training so that you're getting exactly what you want out of the gym rather than just putting everything into it. So for me, it's very much a case of, I want to stay lean, I want to stay strong, but now I want to be pain-free, I want to be mobile, I want to be flexible. And if you're looking away from, from work, I have a wife, I have a, a new baby, I have a dog. I want to be able to pick up my son, play with him, um, you know, go for a run with my dog for 5K, you know, the things that give me a really, really good quality of life. And so it's, it's probably a slightly more well-balanced, uh, more well-rounded sort of training. I think my long-term goal, my long-term vision for where I, I, I would like to be um, is to just kind of keep going on the track of where I have been over the last couple of years as in I've developed a really nice business back home, my family's great and I, I love I love my job. I love being able to travel around the world, interacting with people that follow what I do online. Maybe I give them some motivation to go and train, maybe I give them some information in which they can help themselves. I want to try and have as big an impact as possible. A lot of people in this game take themselves really seriously and don't get me wrong, health and fitness is serious but you know, we're not out there curing cancer, we're not out there fighting wars, you know, all we're trying to do is have a real positive impact. And I think that a really effective way of doing that is by taking it a little bit lighter, you know. You can have a well-balanced life and still be really into your fitness, you know. You can enjoy a meal out and not go have to kill yourself on the treadmill. You know, it's about putting everything into perspective. And I think if people can take a little bit of something away, which would be, have a well-balanced outlook, stay fit, stay healthy, and you know, you'll have a great life. If I can kind of encourage people to do that, then that would be, be a really good thing. Yeah.